Um, Oliver, we're here now to talk about the open house, which is happening um, in November again. This has become a, a really um, popular fixture, hasn't it, in the manufacturing event calendar? Um, a real success. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. So, um, yeah, this year it's the 12th to the 14th of November uh, at our headquarters in Anstey Park in Coventry. Um, as you say, it's, it's a real recurring sort of feature of the year now, which is fantastic. Uh, it seems that we get customers and suppliers um, contact us even the week after the previous show to sign up for the next year, you know, fantastic. I mean, the big big message I, I've always um, sort of felt come through these events is is that collaboration. It's kind of a mini exhibition, isn't it? You've got so many so many different providers come in here with a solution that's maybe different to somebody else that all goes together. Mm. You know, loads of brains is better than one, I guess is what Absolutely I'm right. So, yeah, I mean, and again, it's a key theme of this year, that uh, collaboration and partnership and showing those... Um, areas of best practice that some of our customers use. They want to show it to other customers um, how to actually best adopt automation, adopt technology. And I think with the Fanet brand, obviously covering CNC, robotics, and our rubber machine products, um, sort of vertical machining centers, injection molding machines, and wire EDM, you get to see a huge broad spectrum of what actually is possible. And I mean, what is the variety of, of the partners that are here and the partnerships that you've got? What, what are the disciplines of manufacturing, the areas of manufacturing that they support and service? Just to illustrate mm. how, how broad the event is and who it's Yeah, well, track. everything from aerospace to food and beverage, pharmaceutical, medical, automotive, tier one customers, tier two customers, you know, vertical supply chains all the way through the length and breadth of what um, manufacturing in Britain supplies, you know? Yeah, I mean, it must be, in, in my mind, there's not many events that are as big as this that happen in the UK that aren't exhibitions. No, absolutely right. So I think um, a lot of other customers, um, sort of suppliers of equipment, will have their own dedicated shows, um, but they'll be focused on their products. What we try and do is bring some real thought leadership to what we, what we deliver. So we've got a huge, broad range of uh, manufacturers, as you mentioned before. We're also bringing the press and, and media to the show. We're bringing um, finance companies to the show. We're bringing um, a lot of trade organizations to the show. So mm -hmm. some of the real big focus this year is obviously on making sure that we adopt automation at the same rate as others, you know? And, and you, one of the popular um, aspects of the, of the show that we talk about, and we're glad to be involved in, Oliver, it's a, it's a, it, it, you know, it, it really does serve as an education, is the panel discussions. Mm. Something a little bit different this year, slightly different location um, yeah. and slightly different methods, should we say. Yeah, so we're trying to put some focus on the panel discussions this year um, to be driven by the panellists themselves. Um, to be driven by um, industry, but also by media, by the, by the um, other media outlets that come to the show. You know, they can drive things in their own um, way. Um, also driven by trade associations. Yeah, they're trying to get a, a really broad spectrum of different panelists together to sort of push the, the right messaging into industry. And, and what would some of that messaging be? What, what are people going to extract? Clearly, the importance of this this piece on social media here is to get people to go. All oh, right, you know, yeah. I, I, that need that I need to be at that event. I need to be listening to those panel discussions. What what, what value are they going to get out? Of yeah. So we we have panelists from Airbus. We have panelists from Cummins, from all sorts of different big blue chip brands, but also smaller smaller um, companies. Um, they will convey the best way that they've adopted automation through their um, return on investment calculations. Um, those that have had to obviously train their own staff or upskill their own staff, how they've done it. Mm. So huge, broad sort of... I suppose it's the challenges that companies face. Absolutely. The, the, it's a way of solving those. Exactly that. And, and there's, no, there's no fixed way of doing any of those, but to hear multiple ways, one of them might just fit to you. Brilliant. Okay, just remind us and remind the audience when the event is happening and, and whereabouts it is. So it's the 12th to the 14th of November at Fanuc on Anstey Park in Coventry. Mm -hmm.